Hey what's up YouTube, it's me Shigrana and in today's video we're going to take a look at my recently created UI in World of Warcraft Classic. So ever since I stopped mid-run during my 1-60 to speedrun on launch, I have been working on this um, whenever I was logged in and I pretty much tried to optimize my UI for speed leveling even more than I did on the launch speedrun because with time passing, you will always find like more optimizations and you will always try to further improve things. And I really want to um, get far with speedrunning in Classic and one for 1 to 60. So to me, it was really important that I have a really good UI because a UI is crucial for gameplay in World of Warcraft because sometimes it's just straight up better and sometimes it just makes things easier and just generally helps you out and I will go over like all of it like what it looks like on the surface you see right now but there's a lot of things going in depth I will also like go over some things related to the speed running in World of Warcraft because it's kind of attached to my UI so I will go over that too I will go over all of the add-ons that I'm currently using and their purpose and just general knowledge that can be useful to you so I've been um, like I said, working on this UI for quite some time, and I think that I'm finally ready to showcase it. But like I said, it will be further improved, so uh, if I will be doing a stream, I guess in a week or so, it probably will look a little bit differently, so just be aware of that. So what you see here right now is my Halfstone. This is the Halfstone cooldown timer, so why do I have that? I will showcase that. So if I delete my half zone, what will happen is I, it will turn red and this will turn into no half zone also red. This is to indicate that I don't have a half zone yet uh, anymore. The reason I have made it that way is because it's actually kind of crucial for me to know whether I have a half zone or not at all times because um, there's this function right here, teleport to graveyard, and if you have your half zone, uh, then you will use that half zone and go to your halfstone location. But if you don't have a halfstone, you will actually go to the graveyard because, well, the game just decides to kill you. Uh, and yeah, that happens. I guess they mean it really literally when you teleport to graveyard. So this is the first thing that I want to show off. So we're going to run to the inn right now and get a halfstone back and then we're going to continue with that. So this is just a reminder that well if you die your arcane intellect is gone and your ice armor is gone. It's just to remind me to rebuff myself. I can remember that myself too without these but this just makes it easier. There's no reason why I wouldn't be using this if I can create it. So we're going to rebuff it. Um, I am not used to my um, new key bindings yet as much as I was to the other. So I know I also don't have the mana, so let's um, do some evocation and buff some ice ammo. Uh, I have no idea what the green key is right now. Um, so never mind. Doesn't matter. So if I use my half zone, then you will see here in a second using my half stone then this is on cooldown the reason this is important is well to know whether my half stone is ready or not so that I can anticipate it but also if you have your half stone and then it's on cooldown you can also kill yourself um, without being teleported to your half stone location so as you can see this tells me where my half zone is located because sometimes you can forget uh, where your half zone is located and then you use it and then you waste a lot of time because um, your half zone was at a different place than you thought was thought. So this is just also a reminder. A lot of things are just reminders. WoW speedrunning is all about keeping a WoW leveling speedrunning is all about remembering things. And there's so many things to remember. That's why this help is very uh, crucial. Like it go works without, and in a lot of ways, it can be considered more skillful to do it without. But there's little to no reason why you wouldn't be using this, um, because 
this is all just things that you can do with WoW add-ons and with macros and stuff like that. And why wouldn't you try to make things easier for yourself? And why wouldn't you, like, by using these types of things, you can actually push your gameplay to an even higher level. You will do less mistakes, but also you can add things on top of that um, and go even further, if that makes sense. Like, I, for me, it's always important that I don't use anything that is, like, outside of the realm of World of Warcraft, like programs that run in the background that uh, help me do things. Maybe there are some exceptions to that rule too, I'm not sure, but as of right now there aren't any and I always try to keep that in boundary. So um, there are some people that always say, well, your UI doesn't matter for your gameplay, but that is totally wrong. Like there are some things that are um, preference, some things that really don't matter, but some things are just straight up better and straight up help you in your gameplay and allow you to make less mistakes and just overall help you. So let me um, buff these things real quick because that's kind of annoying. That's also a good thing why I have that. So I just buff it. So another thing that we will go over, like what is this right here? Like what does this do for me? So as you can tell, whenever this uh, goes on zero, like my HP regs and my health does too. The way that reg works in uh, Classic is that whenever you um, are in combat, uh, your health doesn't wreck anymore, right? And when you're, ever, when you're out of combat, your health wrecks. But it's all based on the 5 second rule. So if I spend mana now, you will see that there is like this 5 second timer going on. Um, and this 5 second timer, when this is on zero, my mana starts to regen. Um, if I'm in combat, my mana regens after that 5 seconds too, but the health doesn't. Meaning that Mana can wreck in combat, but health cannot. But as you can see, like I'm going to go in combat now. I'm not going to spend any mana, but it still wrecks. But my health doesn't wreck anymore, as you can see. So now if I spend mana, uh, five second rule is applied and now it doesn't wreck anymore. This is, all, this, this is also a timer for that. So whenever this timer goes zero, it starts to wreck and now the 5 rec second rule is at play and it doesn't happen anymore. So that's just to showcase that. Um, so another thing is, one second, like why the, like I have rest sickness, that's why they're not dying. I'm like, why am I not dying? Let, so let me kill them. So actually I can showcase something here. So this is, this is like the target swing timer and my main hand swing timer, so how fast, like, like, pretty much, like how fast the target hits, and how fast I hit, and it's on a timer. So with that you can know when you will hit and when the target will hit. So in this case, for example, I can actually kite the mob, because as you can see, it takes like two seconds for me to hit the mob. So during that time what I can just do is, I can just walk away from the mob, and once uh, it's... On zero or close to zero, I can go in range and hit it and kite the mob along this way. This is really helpful because it saves you some extra time for speedrunning. Uh, but it's mostly used on low level and not really so much later on because later on you have a wand uh, as a mage at least. So another thing is this timer, if you are interested in this, this is just called the five second rule. Um, you can find it probably on Willet Classic, Warcraft Interface or Curseforge. Those are like sources that I always use um, to find some add-ons that I need. Um, this, uh, um, this is called ABBA something. ABBA Classic, like the swing timers are called ABBA Classic. Um, so so you know. So another thing is the the cast bars that I use should be quartz, if I'm not mistaken. Or oh, no, no, no. Those are from Dominos. Dominos are my action bars that you can see right here. 
that's Dominos and the Casper is also from Dominos. But Quartz is another Casper add-on that is also really good if you want to use it. So this right here on top of it is um, just like a speedrun timer. Um, as you can tell, I'm 46 hours on uh, level 36, so 36 I stopped my class, or like 45 I would say I stopped my classic speedrun. And ever since then I've been just like creating stuff for my UI and stuff like that. Quality time just tells you things about like your leveling, uh, uh, leveling. If you like idle, like how much time you're idling, how much you're in combat, how much you ring, how much you travel. As you can see, if I press here, you can see that it starts like I'm traveling right now. Now it will change because I'm sitting, I think. Now I'm idling. If I uh, eat something, um, I don't have anything to eat right now. It will say that I'm re regen or if I have like mana less. Now I'm regenerating, as you can see. Um, so it's actually interesting that when I'm regenerating and traveling, it doesn't like say anything else. Um, like obviously combat, it also just tells you because there are like different states in classic um, or like in WoW. So that's what the add-on does. Uh, it can be helpful. I have like my durability figure. I have moved uh, up here. Another really good add-on is move anything. Move anything allows you to move anything on your screen. So if it doesn't, if it bothers you that your durability figure is uh, here, you can just move it up here. Um, I have Titan panel over here. This is Titan panel, this bar right here. You can tell a lot of different things with this. For example, you can kill, uh, you can show durability, kill track, your FPS, your performance in general, your location. I'm going to over go over that later. Like there's some of the things you can, you can also like have like plugins that um, they only work with certain add-ons, right? So you have to have a specific add-on to have the plugin there and stuff like that. For example, I can show DBM there, group triggers, jump sequencer, kill track, Leah tricks plus, max cam, minimap, I can pred, everything I want I can set here. And then there's a timer here too. So the Titan panel is kind of cool. I really enjoy Titan panel. My back add-on is Adibags. Adibags, the cool thing about this is you can, like, things are going are separated into different categories. For example, trade goods, ammo, quests, weapon. It just allows you to keep better track of your items. You don't have to manually do it. You can even make your own categories in filters. You go manually filtering, and then you go on new. And then you can create a section here and put an item in here, and then you have your own section if you want to have an own section to make it even further organized um, so as you can already see there's a lot of things that just are straight up better and straight up just like super useful in speedrunning so one of the most important add-ons uh, for leveling and before i uh, go any further i'm actually going to lock on a different character because uh, now I'm going to showcase some things that I can just better show off with another character. Um, it will look a little bit differently, like my UI with that character, because the way that things work is that you have to, there are like server settings and like there are like um, character settings. So um, server settings are things that are just like, if I create a new character, they are applied uh, to that character. Um, but then there are specific uh, things that only apply to the character itself. And if you have that on this guy in your folder, like maybe I can show this one second. I want to actually showcase that. Um, so one second. Um, um, build, uh, this display capture, there we go, hope there's nothing on here that I'm not supposed to show, but I don't think so. So here, as you can see, this is my World of Warcraft folder. This is in German, obviously, a lot of it, because I'm German. So if I go 
onto so there's classic retail those are separate so here we go classic and then as you can see there's a WTF folder interface are obviously there where your add-ons are located um, WTF is where all your settings are located within the game so you have different accounts so you have to figure out what your account is so my account right now is this one right here always keep in mind that when you do these changes you have your wow closed because if you don't have it closed there won't be, 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 be they won't be applied or there will be reset I'm not sure what but that will won't work so what you then do so this is my server settings bindings cache config cache macros cache and cache this is my server settings so if you would want to um, have the same server settings on like a different account you would just copy that into here right you would just do this you would copy it into here and now you would have the same settings um, keep in mind save variables um, you have to copy over too because there are some information um, for your um, add-ons and stuff in there so but then there is like um, then you can go on a specific server nether guard keep here for example and here are your characters and in every of the one of those characters there is like settings on their own so if you want to have the settings that um, are in SHR like in your own character let's say your character is called SHR you copy it and go into the different character since I have not logged into the new created character called whatever um, I can also just manually create a folder and call it that way whatever because on creation the character actually um, gets the folder created but you can create it in hindsight before it so then you copy all of the stuff in there and there we go so there's one more thing that I have to show you in case you um, so let's log in like the reason I have not remember account name here is because I usually log in in with auto hotkey to make it faster um, so now I go into nether card keep so as you can see I just copied over like all of the things that are in the folder uh, but the config file as far as I know like correct me if I'm wrong is something that will, ge will get reset when you create like a new character because I assume that well, the config file gets created once you log in for the first time and there should be like a config file in place and it doesn't check for it. So it just creates a new one even though there's already one in place. And this is only the case with, I think, config file and the macro file. Um, I think so at least. Uh, that's why whenever I like create a new character, I actually have to log in one time and then... Uh, copy over the other stuff because it doesn't just save it um, without uh, like it doesn't like take the things if that makes sense um, so this is my character so if I log in you will see that everything will be in place uh, just some things for the config won't be in place the macros should be in place but they could also not be in place I'm not entirely sure um, I'm not entirely sure whether they're going to be in place or not. They should be because they sh they're server wide. But if I would use a character uh, um, character macros, then it wouldn't be in place because then that would be get reset. So as you can see, the macros are in place. But if I would have had character macros, which are also in the character folder, they would have been reset. Because as you can tell, Based on the fact that auto loot is not activated, the config file should be uh, not the config file that I use. So what we're going to do now is we're going to exactly do the same thing. If you, by the way, have any idea how to make this better or work around or you have um, information that I don't have, let me know. So now, as you can see, the config file should be completely empty. 
Wait, actually it's not. Why is it not? Is it the server? No, the server can't be. Uh, no, yeah, this is weird. Let me look at it. Why is it... Um, never mind. So, um, I, I was correct, I think, but um, it got reset. But um, it looked like it didn't get reset. Here, as you can see, like what I'm doing right now here is I'm copying all of this, what is in this thing. And then I kind of just copied the whole folder, but I wanted to show. As you can see, this is not correct what is in here. Like this is just a new created thing. And then I copy all of that stuff in that. And now when I log in, it should be good. And as you can see, the micro cache is, for example, empty right now. If I would put something into the micro cache right now on the second login, it would also uh, give result in like macros being created in the character selection thing. But that's not uh, like what we need to test right now. Like I said, this is going to be a very long video about everything UI related. If you guys like need that, um, I'm very um, inclined to share it because like it's not a secret in any way. It's just I help you to get it figured out, and I like when other people provide um, tips on how to get better. So why don't I do it? You know, and I mean. I just like to share stuff like this because I'm not a person that is centered about competition. I'm a person that is centered about personal development and if other people get better this means that there will be probably more competition out there and that will and competition is a good tool to get stronger. So it would help me in in a long period of time too if people uh, also decide to go into that road and figure this out. So like logging in right now though it takes a little bit long. My PC is kind of shit. I'm upgrading it, but um there is also some optimization that I still need to do that um well I haven't done yet. So there's that. I think so at least. Maybe this is not for me that this takes so long, but it has been like for the couple of days been that way. So one when we log in now, you will see that auto um loot and everything will be uh, set up. So, and a lot of people like what they were doing on the classing launch is they had all of their things set up the way that I just showed you and they hope that when they get in um, they can just play with the settings that they had on beta or something like that. But it turned out that Blizzard logged in and everything was kind of like reset. Like really everything, even your bindings cache, everything was rip. And what you can do is you just log out and copy it over again and then you were fine. Uh, but uh, what people like, what people hope for is that you just log in and everything would be the way that you wanted it to be. But that wasn't the case. But uh, you just had to copy it again for a second time and then it worked. So now auto loot should be active, as you can see, and every other thing should be active too. The reason we logged onto here is because I wanted to showcase something. So there is a cool add-on called OP. So Keybinding things is important because, well, it allows you to uh, do the actions faster than if you would click them. There are some things that are not as important and you need many keybinds for them. That, well, you feel like, well, this is kind of over the top. I don't want to do it. I have to remember too many keybinds and. If that would be the only options, well, you would have to do the keybind thing because that would be better than not keybinding it. But that is kind of something you want to avoid in that case because let's say you want other people to buff you and you have a macro for people to buff you, then you have a macro for people to inf you, and you need to keep it for every one of those. So there's a lot of keybinds. And sometimes you, like, you can run out of keybinds, especially good keybinds. And those things are kind of like require some good key mines because when you're leveling and there's like a priest running away from you, you want to say instant like buff me please, for example. So you so it's something that's very insignificant that can require a lot of good key binds and in general a lot of key binds. So there's an add-on called OP that kind of serves this purpose to at least for me to make things that 
have a use that are kind of like less significant than other things have just like a key bind that isn't really a key bind in the traditional way and it allows you to do lots of cool things with it. So I will go over how OP functions. This works for classic. This is not the official OP version I think. This is an unofficial version. I got this on GitHub I think. Maybe this is the official version. I'm not sure. But um, you can just find this on GitHub. So you have custom rings. So there are some rings that are like there from the get-go, like for example trade skills, where there are all trade skills in there. But you can also create a new ring. And I, for example, created the ring quest, food and water, easy access, uh, stuff. Those are all my create creations. And then you can bind them. So you have one binding essentially. But with this one binding, what you can do is you have a ring. And wherever you kind of like um, leave your mouse, like when you move your mouse, it kind of like goes to a different macro. And when when you just leave leave it, then it will use it. So it's essentially one macro for lots of different things, and it's very handy. So I use it, for example, to tell people to buff me. So or to inf or, or to die. I don't want. I want to die. Don't attack, please. Or to inf me, please. Or uh, this is a general marker, I don't want to use this right now. Or when I want to say thank you, and I don't want to type it. Or when I am about to die. Uh, these are two general markers again. So that's something that's very handy. And imagine I having keybinds for every one of those. That's kind of like problematic. So this way you can get around it. Obviously. You don't want to have like sinister strike on that and be like sinister strike, sinister strike, sinister strike. That would be kind of like not the use for OP, at least in my opinion. So OP is a thing. So when you log in, as you can see, like my that's actually Dominos. Dominos is the action by add-on that I use. I may have already said that. But when I log in, as you can see, like my keybinds are all there, um, but like my spells aren't there. Uh, or like macros that work like for like these spells aren't there. So I have created macros with the help of a like there's a, always a person, uh, Jabba, like a good friend of mine, has helped me a lot with UI stuff. So um, you can figure out all of this stuff too. You just have to dedicate like a lot of time to it, like I had to figure this all out. Um, so Jabba helped me a lot of it, a lot with it, like with UI stuff. So these macros. Right now, when where is it? This macro right here, for example. This, what it does, it takes a, a macro. You can also change this to spell or item, whatever you want it to be. It takes it and puts it on your bars, essentially. And I cannot really give you this macro because, depending what class you play, uh, this would only work for mage, because those first of all are macros you would have to manually create those macros for it to work uh, it, uh, it's going to be things related to mage um, and it has to be in the exact same order these macros are placed in so you would have to copy it one by one or like I would have to give you all of the stuff uh, and then it also depends on the action bar uh, add-on that you use whether this will work so this is something that you really have to tweak for yourself and create for yourself and understand for yourself you can't just copy it from me because it won't work the way that it would work for me because this is something that is specifically crafted for me i specifically crafted this for me so now i so when you log in so you stand here and you want to go really fast and it's kind of annoying to Go escape, macros, then look for the macros, put it on your bias, because they are actually one, two, three, four, because there is a character limit. There's probably a way to put this into an add-on, I might look into that, making it even better, but this is what I temporarily have come up with. So putting it all on your bars and then pressing it would be kind of sucky sucky. So what we do instead, we log in, we first of all collect this crest imagine I collected this crest and then when I walk to like an enemy I just press one keybind for OP to open and then I do this and then I have everything set up 
because those macros do it for me. Um, so there's that. So and here's another example of how like optimizing your UIs and add-ons just is straight up better in a lot of ways. You know, like if someone doesn't have an auto add-on quest, an auto quest add-on, like you see how long this takes, like just doing it manually. But if an auto, if you have an auto add-on, like I already took the quest without even doing anything. Like you see what I'm saying? Add-ons are good. So that's what I'm saying. So. Another thing is currently I am not like I don't have every clue about everything. So the only thing that so why I have like buttons over here is because well it's important to know whether I'm a range or not. Like right now I'm a range. Uh I shouldn't be in range anymore. Um, why isn't this red? Is Tola range not on activated? Um, it should be red. Let me look for it real quick. Like, let me reload UI. So here again, reload UI. I have a macro for that. I don't even have to put it on bars. It's just there. But when I just like press that macro, like it should honestly be red. Like the one thing there. So. So essentially the bar that is in my front of my screen is a range indicator because I didn't find another way to create a range indicator currently in Classic. Because there are not so many ranges in Classic that you can go on. And I this is just a kind of like a ghetto fix for like a really big purpose in, in the game. Because it's really important to know whether you're in range or not. Because if you think that you're in range and you press the button and you're not in range then you have to move forward and that adds up kind of like. So you want to know at all times when you go into sight if you are in range or not. And I have an add-on that essentially if I'm not in range it will go red like this would you see as you can see. So now I'm in range and now I'm not in range. And because it's in front of my screen I see it right away if I am in range or not. But if I would look down here I wouldn't see it. And there is currently not another like range real uh, like I, at least I haven't found anything and didn't know how to create one. That, that shows me like my target yard range. So this is kind of like a ghetto fix. So if you're wondering what this is, like these stats, uh, this is an add-on, not sure what it's called right now, but uh, what it does, it just tells me like how mana efficient compared to the damage. Uh, like it takes into consideration the damage, the mana and the cast time of the spell and based on that it gives it a stat and tells you how worth it is and how good it is. I'm not sure how accurate it is. I uh, just took it and tested it out. For example, I whenever I think that an add-on could be in some way useful, I just download it or get it or something and test it out. So so far it seems accurate. I'm not sure though. Um, so yeah, then obviously I have like a bunch of different week hours for different things. I guess you can already tell. So what's about with this kind of stuff? I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to stay like that. If I find an alternative, I will be obviously switching it because it takes up a lot of space. It kind of looks ugly in a lot of ways, but it's there for um, me knowing at all times whether I have those items or not. I don't want to be searching in my bag for it and look for it in my bag. This way, I can just see it. If I want to pop and uh, if I want to pop um, a health potion, I just know that I have a health potion. Those are all the different health potion and mana potions. Health potion here, mana potion here, and I have a macro that includes all of the health potion. I have a macro that includes all of the mana potion. That's why I don't know whether like what mana or health potion I actually use, and I want to know that. And um, yeah, and I don't want to constantly like, switch like mana and health potions to my bars. That's why I have just an all-in-one macro. So I only use macros pretty much. The reason I only use macros is because I could have set up this add-on with spells instead of macros. But spells has a longer ID than macros. For example, I have an add-on um, that tells me the ID. Of things, this is called the add-on is called ID tip, and uh, the macro ID here is 96. And spell IDs typically have like four digits. So since I'm limited here on space, I uh, want to and I want to have as little macros of it as possible. I chose to go with macros. On top of that, 
um, there could be some macros that I'm unaware of. And if, uh, so for example, I also have just like macros like this, this just like what the spell does, nothing special with this macro, but there might be a Pyroblast macro that is really good that I want to have and I've already set it up uh, so that um, I don't have to change the this macro later on. So there's also an add-on that's called bindpad um, slash bp to open it and you can just bind macros this way and create macros over it and um, this is really good. This is takes less time to set up than the other macro that I showed you but um, you don't really see those on the thing on the action bus at least I think so maybe there is an option uh, but I do it for things that I don't really um, I, I do it now I guess or if I wanted to include it in a in the macro or not it's something that you can use to bind pad is really nice because you can macro your uh, you can bind your macros with it so it's also important that when you keybind, you make sure what all of the available keybinds are. You should rate them as good keybinds, as bad keybinds, and middle keybinds, I guess, medium keybinds. And that's all dependent on like how easy, like how, like how good you can reach the macro, or the button, and how difficult it is for you to press it or like press it continuously. For example, if like Let's say I had a sinister strike in here, like a melee attack in here that I had to spam. Having that in OP wouldn't make sense. Like imagine me doing like this, that is kind of like dumb. Um, so this is kind of like you need to make sure that your your keybinds are actually good, and you shouldn't be afraid to change your keybind even if you had a keybind for ages. For example, I had um, ever since I started playing World of Warcraft, I had numpad. I had on numpad, I had auto walking, like default auto walking on numpad. I had ever since I started playing World of Warcraft. Now I have it on X, and it took me only two days to get used to it. To be fair, I have a lot of practice when it comes to changing macros, uh, 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 key bindings, but if, the thing is, if it makes sense to change it, change it regardless. Don't tell yourself bullshit like, oh, I won't remember it, or I'm used to it, and now I let it be that way. That's stupid. Just just change it and get used to it. It will be uncomfortable for a minute or so, but the more you do it, the more you get used to it. And for me at this point, like I could just swap this to four now. And in some cases, not always, I have it instant remembered. And I don't even do any errors with it. In, my, some, in most cases, in some cases, it's not that way, but you know what I'm saying. It's it's just practice. Always remember, it's just practice. So another thing that I have here, this is itemized deductions. This is an element for Titan Panel. Um, I think I've already went over Titan Panel. Titan Panel is at this bar over here. You can show lots of cool information with this, like performance, kills per minute, durability, gold, time to level, XP this session, and other add-ons that you have installed or other plugins that you have for Titan Pen. One of them is itemized uh, deductions. You can also showcase new mail with this. I forgot that I haven't even put that on. I wanted to put that on. And um, what does this do? So sometimes in a speedrun, you have limited backspace, depending whether you're on launch or if it's a speedrun where you have all the stuff from the start. But sometimes you run into a problem that you have a lot of items and you don't want to just throw away anything that could have some worth to it if the money matters to you on launch for example the money kind of matters to you or like in a scenario where you don't have all the things the money matters to you or if your speed running doesn't have that much priority that you just throw away all the gold that you gather along the way but sometimes you have a full bag and you need to get rid of things because there's no vendor you cannot sell and you don't want to go back to the city what itemized deduction basically does, it looks at your items that you have available and determines what has the lowest, lowest sell value, and then with one click it just deletes it. So what I'm doing right now, as you can see, I have a rune pelt now. This is the only grey item that I currently have, so obviously it's the lowest. But in reality, you when you have a full bag, you will have lots of different grey items, and with one click you it will you destroy the item 
and uh, it will be the lowest uh, value of the item. So let's say I had a full bag, now I press shift click and now it gets deleted and I didn't have to manually delete it or anything like that. I just um, did it that way. Then there's an add-on called dialog key and quest bindings, I think it's called dialog key. What it does is let me kill myself real quick, it's something that I do as a living. Um, so um, I'm using the stack function, uh, function, <laughs> uh, function. Sorry, I'm a little bit. Um, I've already been doing a lot of things today, so I'm kind of like mentally tired a little bit. So as you can see, I didn't press really spirit there. I just pressed space, and that's what dialog key does. You can, for example, I can just. I don't have to manually click on this. I just press space and I don't have to press accept on here I just press space and space again that's what dialog key does you can just skip things with that you can not that you can just like do it with a press of space instead of like mouse which is really fast quest bindings on the other hand is also really fast but what that does is gives you it works a little bit differently so as you can see, if I press 1, it selects it. If I press 2, it cancels it. So it's for different settings, essentially. Um, so that's what Quest Bindings is for. And if you have an automation add-on, um, the way that you stop it, generally speaking, is with some of the modifier and click. So Shift, Alt, or Control. In my case, it's Shift. So this is how you stop the automation from happening if you have, like, um, an optimization add-on, which I will be going over in a second. So, if I want, so Chris Bandings essentially gives you different options of like which number to press to, for example, say goodbye. In this case, it's two. Goodbye. Easy. It's super add-on. Uh, it's a super add-on. So another thing is this is one of the most important add-ons for speed mapping. Fact. Leatrix Plus, it's called. To open it, it's slash LTP um, automation. So you can sell junk automatically, you can repair automatically, you can automate quests, you can automate gossip, you can automatically accept summon resurrection release in PvP, you can block duels if someone is annoying you, you can block party invites, you can do all sorts of things with this. You have some set chat options, you have text options, you, have, you can show durability status, you can show WoW headlinks, you can show vanity controls, you can hide things of your of the basic UI from World of Warcraft, system, disable bug automation, if checked your bags will not be output or closed automatically when you interact with a merchant bank or Intel. Be, if checked your bags will not be opened or closed automatically. Yeah, show character add-ons, disable loot warnings, um, faster auto loot, faster movie skip, stand and dismount. So, for example, when um, you have, when there's an action that requires you for you to stand up, um, if you press that button, it just makes you stand up, and then you can do the thing. So you don't have to manually stand up. And when it comes to dismounting, if you have a mount, um, you can just press like any spell, and it dismounts you. You don't have to press your mount on purpose. You can also show vendor price, I have a different add-on for that. Max camera zoom, faster movie skip, skips like movies at play, settings. Like this add-on has just everything that you need pretty much, or like has a lot of things that you need. So another thing that I want to showcase real quick, um, I want to just go in general over all of the add-ons that I have. Um, super useful, super good. Uh, let me actually remove the display capture. Looks better that way. So, all the add-ons I have. So keep in mind, some of the add-ons that I have here are just there for testing purposes. So for example, this was just, I got that because I wanted to test it. Wanted to see what this has to offer. So Abba Classic, like I said, that's the um, swing timer add-on. Adibags is the add-on that allows you to um, sort your bag stuff. It's like the bag thing add-on. Advanced interface options isn't really that needed, I think. 
Um, what you can do with it, you can show lure arrows with it, which kind of can be handy. A la talent immu, I will show that in a minute. You can emulate talents with that. All the IDs shows you the IDs of various other things. API interface, what it does, it shows you different. Uh, it gives you a lot of IP, API information. Just good for uh, if you want to figure out some stuff about my Chris and stuff. At last, it should be self-explanatory. Auctionator, auction faster, and Alan allows you to auction faster. Uh, this is the auction that I currently use. Audio cues, I haven't tested that yet. Auto track quests, auto track quest, auto correct. Um, there's an item that uh, gives you increases your movement speed on a mount. Um, this is what it does. It auto equips uh, that item whenever you go on a mount. Auto loot plus. Improves your root speed. I use that over Lea to express because it seems faster to me. Back free space counter, it shows your back free space um, on the back thing. Basic minimap is the small minimap that I have in the bottom of my screen. It's really good. Let me actually go in game again because when I'm in game, I can actually showcase these things better than I'm, when I'm not in the game. Um, so, first of all, a la talent menu, emu. That takes a little bit. So, I can actually show this on this character, but it's okay. Um, so, basic minimap is this minimap right here. Better align if you want to make sure that um, things better align, you can press slash BA, horizontal add, then it adds a horizontal bar. Um, and with that, you can kind of like see like if it all aligns the way that you want to have it on your UI. Blizz move, um, if you don't have this add-on, what you can do is you can't move this around, but if you have this add-on you can. This is applies to all of the uh, Blizzard things, that's why Blizz move. Um, So, I just re resetted this because um, the green bar was annoying me a little bit and I didn't know. Like, I probably could have manually removed it. Like, I really need to figure out why the loading screen takes so long. Like, it could be because of my add ons, but I don't think it is because I had that many add ons before uh, that. <laughs> it just ha have been happening the last couple of days, so I need to look into that. So here we go again. Uh, a la talent emu, I can show you that at the moment. I can show you API, though, API interface. API interface. So as you can see, you get a lot of information about the API of Blizzard, of how the game works. Back free space counter is this counter right here. Basic minimap is my minimap. Bind pad, I already told you that. CC alert, it alerts people whenever you CC, for example, for a SAP. Class trainer plus, it lets you hide abilities that you don't care about, like for example, arcane missiles or something, something that you don't train while leveling up, you can hide that. Classic aura durations, shows you the classic aura durations. Um, classic cast bars is, so in classic normally they don't show you the cast bars of the enemies. With that, it shows you that. Class of target helper, I actually don't think I use it. I, mean, I don't know what that is at the moment. Uh, click links, obviously I click links. You could like Pratt, you can just click on links. Colored inventory items, 
showcases whether they're like green epic or blue this is not a standard function dialogue here like i said um what i already said what it is dominos is my action by add-on enhanced world map is my world map add-on so it makes this um smaller and when i walk it kind of fades a little bit uh, this was the only uh, map add-on that i really liked because it didn't fade it too much um, extra quest button is a good add-on but it doesn't work for classic yet um, what that does it actually makes your action extra action button to an extra quest button whenever you have a quest button a quest item that you need to use you can just use your extra action button but in classic there is no extra action button that's why i think it doesn't work Field guide is a very handy head on. Tells you, and oh no, that's what can I train. Field guide is FG, I think. Can gives you information about like what you are going to learn later on. You can also make things hide things, I think, with it. You can show known spells. You can also show other classes, warrior and stuff like that. Really helpful. Uh, Gnomish vendor shrinker is also really cool. Five second rule is the add-on that I was talking about earlier with the 5 second rule. This is essentially what uh, Normus Render Shrinker does. It shrinks the render thing into this. I like it really a lot. Um, group targets is nothing really to... I, I, this is just test. It doesn't have a leveling purpose. Handy notes can be useful to know where everything is, especially during practice, that's nice. ID tip is to show your item IDs. In flight shows you how long each individual flight goes. Um, really useful for speed runs to route. Item rack is something that I haven't been really going over yet. Um, item rack, option, sets, so I have different bindings for these sets so when i for example want to go strip naked there is uses for that when you want to kill yourself and it's actually faster kill you, let yourself be killed by enemies the rather than your stuck function so that you just bind it and then you can just go naked if it would work uh, item rack sometimes has weird things about it uh, should work Ah, I know why it doesn't work. Now it should work. As you can see, now it removed all my clothes. It's like an equipment manager in retail, essentially. So quest bindings, I've already explained that one. Quantify gives you some stats about things. Um, just like information that you can gather. Quality time is this add-on. I went over this, I think, already. Pred is a chat add-on. Um, makes chatting a little bit cooler like you can click on links class colors and stuff like that powered is this mana bar right here postal is an enhanced mailbox add-on that the reason I got that is because you can um, press like shift and then you can send like all of the same types of items that you have in the back in one like click if that makes sense plater is my nameplate add-on Plater is a huge add-on like week hours that has a lot of function functionality as you can see um, and um, yeah that's why I got it you have to set up it a little bit it's not really that difficult um, just a little bit of development um, as you can see those are how the plates look you can make them look the way that you want to uh, OP I already explained what OP is name plate class colors I pr probably deactivate this Actually, maybe like I pr probably deactivate this. This is probably in plate included, but I still have it from the early days of uh, the beginning of Classic. Move anything. I already went over that. A max cam. It makes the max cam. A mana perk shows mana usage percentages. For example, when you go like here, for example, it shows like 30% mana. That is of my total mana thing. It's just like nice information. Um, Mail opener will automatically retrieve of all mail that is there. So meaning if you have mail, it just you don't have to click on open all mail, it does it just for you. Macro toolkit is a cool add-on that you can do. Uh, can you have for macros to create better macros and stuff like that? 
but it currently doesn't work uh, properly I think on classic but one function that does work which why I got it is you can actually look for for example if you go on toolkit right here you can change name icon and you can search for different icons with the spell ID and that's really nice because then you can find the icons because sometimes show tooltip doesn't work and stuff like that so um, then we have lunar unit frames. These are the unit frames. I really like them because you can even show like the uh, five second rule and stuff with that. There's a lot of settings that you can have with that, uh, with the add-on. So I really, really like it. Definitely would get that. Let me cast this auto, auto dismount and auto stand. I can probably like get rid of that, which I probably will. Kill track is this right here. How many kills per minute I have. Item tool to profession. It shows uh, for what, uh, like, on the tooltip, it shows you for what professions that item can be used for. Um, so we went over all of these. Leatrix Plus, we went over that too. Mana, uh, those are quest log, quest XP tracker, and classic and quests. Uh, it actually doesn't show you how much XP you get from that. With that, it does show you that. Uh, quest log extended. It doesn't like. They like, can still only get 20 quests, but your quest logs just looks different. Kind of bug when you don't have a quest. Where rare shows you um, all of the quests, uh, all of the rares on the map, and when you're close to one, at this point you can probably just get silver dragon. Maybe I need to get that too. Real mob health is an extremely important add-on because um, the health of the mobs isn't properly recorded unless you have that add-on. I think so at least. So you have to get that add-on and at some point once you have all data for the enemies it shows you kind of like the correct health. At least so unless something has changed. Scrap is also something that we'll go over in a second here. Simple macro bindings. I haven't looked at that yet. Skip all the things. Skips the movie at the beginning when I for example log in. It's like a movie skip thing. Speedrun splits is this add-on right here. Titan panel is this bar right here. Tip tag is my tooltip thing. Tip tag is a great tooltip add-on. Tular range is when, for example, this is like when this is red, like that's what Tular range does. Um, Wato um, is I will go over that in a second. Rig hours, um, um, rig hours, obviously all of these things. What's training is something like field guide where it shows you. Um, in a second, it shows you like this is. What's training, like when you get like new spells and stuff. And the last few add-ons, DBM, should be self-explanatory. This is like a macro add-on to create cast sequence macros. I haven't tested the wrong with that. Character stats classic and data character stats um, are, are this. This is character stats classic and this is data character stats. Um, so who whispers, I can actually showcase that to you. Um, can you whisper me, please? Want to test something. So when he whispers me, you will see what happens. I hope he whispers me. Let's hope that he whispers me. Like I wanna showcase it. I mean, I can also just tell. I mean, it's not really hard to understand. Uh, he doesn't. Like if he whispers me, like I like, slash who happens, so that you know who's talking to you. Not. It's kind of useful um, depending on what you do. But yeah, so all of the gray add-ons are add-ons that I have tested and deemed as something that I don't want to use at the moment or have to have a use for it right now. For example, details is an add-on that I would use, but um, well, I don't need it during leveling. Deja Minimap, I didn't like it that much. Um, D Chords is a chord add-on. I use Titan Panel for that. Deck is this classic. I have OP, I don't need that. Combactor scrap, um, I don't know, wasn't useful for me, I think. 
cleanup and uh, I don't need that anymore because I have ID bags which makes the bags clean already. Classic codex I would only use for when I would practice something and would look at other people's routes. Button forge is an add-on that doesn't work in classic right now. Bug sack and bug grabber are add-ons to figure out like where the problem is. Blitz, I add Blitz is an add-on that is like an optimization add-on like Leatrix Plus, the same with Azure of Autopilot and Auto Repair. Leatrix Plus does it all for you. Auctionator, I use Auction Faster. Auctionator, I maybe use if I would do more serious auctionate, auctioneer stuff, but I would probably use TSM then. Conrock, it's just like a rotation optimizer. I just wanted to test it out. I didn't really find a use for it. This is. This shows essentially on my bars like how much mana is missing. Like let's spam my mana real quick. Uh, oh, I don't even have that. Um, like how can I showcase this? I can. So I look at like now it will showcase that mana is missing for it. Like this is how much mana is missing. It's kind of like neat for viewers especially to watch it. Um, Audio cues, probably something with audio cues. I haven't looked at that yet. Auto equip quest item doesn't work. Um, I think it should supposed to auto equip quest items when they're useful for you. Uh, DGBFS is something like uh, better align. I have better align, so I don't use it. Defi stats gives you a fun statistic. I don't need that. Can be disabled. Um, damage mana efficiency calculator is uh, this fireball stats stuff that I went over earlier. Uh, like there's a lot of things that I will change after this video that I've already released during this video that I can change. Um, this it's a experience bar, extended character stats, you don't need it if you have um, DJ character stats, extended vendor UI, you don't need it if you have the other vendor thing that I showed to you, extra quest button doesn't work like I said. Grail is also something that I would only use when I practice to get a better understanding of routes that other people use. It just gives you information about quests. Uh, group targets, I have no idea what that currently does. Grey handling um, helps you get rid of grey items. I have another add-on for that. I will go over that in a second. Hop invite helps you to go on to a different level, um, layer. I'm a merchant classic, I don't really remember what it does, but based on my thinking, I think it's probably just uh, something about um, uh, here getting rid of items. Uh, and I have another add on for that. Jump counter is a jump counter. Uh, Carl Leal's tracker is something like a quest objective tracker, don't really need that. Mana warning gives you mana warnings, isn't really useful. Mask, I wanted to look into that further. Mini map button frame, it pretty much puts those things into like a frame, like into a box where you can look at them. Can be useful, can be not. This just gives you mob info. If you have uh, tight um, um, tip tag, you don't really need it, I think, unless it shows resistance too, then you can use it. Movepad Plus gives you Movepad uh, where you can click. It's not really useful. All glow glows your items that are green in your bag uh, or like that are blue shows like a blue surrounding i have a different add-on for that quartz is a really good add-on um for cast bars i wanted to look into that further when it comes to like classic i have it on retail uh, smart quest same as the other optimization quest sex map another mini map that i i prefer this one ring menu if you have uh, op you don't need it regen gives you insights about your regen Stand up, another one of those standing up uh, thing macros. Sort bags is uh, required for cleanup to sort your bags, but it's not useful when you have ID bags because ID bags is just better. Smart buff uh, can be cool when you, um, it's just like a buff add on, but I have all of my regards for that. Smart quest, like I said, is an optimization thing. Uh, super duper macro doesn't really work, but it create, allows you to do longer macros. This could be useful if it works later on. The classic race uh, is really cool add-on uh, when on launch or something like that, because then you see like how you do uh, in the competition. Tiny map, I didn't really like it so much compared to this. Or like I think tiny map maybe was like tiny map was like the actual map macro, uh, actually map. Uh, 
in WoW, like the big map, but it faded out too much for my like, so I didn't use it. Talent sequence and thanks for above, thanks for above. Whenever someone buffs me, like I automatically cheer them. So I want to thank them, but I don't want to waste my time. So I have an add-on that does it for me. Um, the mother tongue, don't care about that. It's just what, what it does essentially. If you want to play on German, um, it also shows the English name of things essentially. So I could play in German now and it would show me the German and the English name. Can be useful. Talent sequence uh, allows you to. For that, I need to go into a different thing. I go over that in different, like soonish. Um, Twitch emotes, total quest XP, same. Shows you the total quest XP vendor. I don't know really what it does. Watch XP, um, probably something like uh, XP uh, tracker, like XP bar. I use Domino, so easy quest, easy junk. Just like junk add on, like to throw everything away, like from the vendor. And easy quest, like I have other add-ons for that, Kiwi plates, I have Plater, EK plates, I have um, Plater, EK mini map, I have this map right here, LFE shout out is to find groups, X to max shows you like the total progress from, uh, from 1 to 60, XP monitor is actually kind of cool, you can look how much XP you get, um, and therefore you can, I guess, test like if some grind is useful or not speedy auto loot it's in the name what it does i have another add-on for that and that's pretty much all of my add-ons that i currently have so like i said this video takes a while i mean there's a lot of things that i can go over here so there are like the three form of things that i want to go over um another thing that i want to go over is um but I, for that i have to log on to my other character so i will be doing that So here we go. Now we're going to log out. For logging out, I just do shift down and then a uh, shift mouse button down and then I log out. Because we need to go into a different character now. We need to go on to this character now. So here we are. So first of all, the emulator. You can emulate stats with it, like how you wanna skill, without actually skilling. You can choose any class that you want. This is called. This is was. This was this add-on right here. Uh, Ala talent emul. Then talent sequence. There is a site called Baba Talents or something or Bobo Talents. And you can create like a string there, which talents you want to follow. The string you copy in here, and then you have like on this side a list where you just click on buttons for each level, then you don't have to manually do it like this. Um, so that was the talent thing. And another important thing is 
cell add-ons. So I have Vato. Um, so I'm just realized something. Maybe this add-on isn't that great. Let's test this out real quick. Um, well, because I think Vato doesn't work with this, and that may be a problem. Vato is an add-on that allows you to sell, uh, buy things more quickly in large quantities. And I um, hope. So this is like how the development happens. Like you realize more and more like what's good and what's not good. I assume that this takes so long because I'm um, recording a video because normally this doesn't take as long as it does right now. So yeah. So let's see. So yeah, so Vato doesn't work with this add-on. So maybe I just going to go with this or with the other thing. But yeah, you can pretty much can afford fill stack, fill bags, add stacks, um, and then you can press purchase. So that's really nice. This is Vato add-on. Um, the other add-on that's way more important though is there are add-ons that sell your grey stuff automatically. But they don't sell your white stuff, they don't sell your green stuff, and they don't sell your uh, epic stuff. And some of the white stuff, some of the grey stuff, some of the green stuff, uh, some of the green stuff, some of the white stuff, some of the black stuff and stuff like that, black, epic stuff, you don't actually want to sell, but some of them you do want to sell. So that's why I have this add-on right here. This is the scrap add-on. What you can do is you can put things as junk and put things as useful. So if it's green, you don't have to manually put them on useful if they are above like gray, because they're just basically always as um, um, default, not junk. You have to manually tag those things as junk. So for example, I have to go in, uh, go and make a key bind. I cannot press escape uh, for whatever reason. Oh, so we have to sit here again. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't press escape, but maybe this goes faster now. I want to wrap this up and fix some things uh, with my UI that I want to fix. There are some things that I can fix that I can that I want to fix. Yeah, that's 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 the way. My cat in the background. <laughs> what a cutie! <laughs> so here we are. So now I can press escape. So in keybinds, add ons, you can toggle item under cursor as junk. I have alt. Um, this, but that is not correct, I think. It should be this one right here. Then I can, for example, go ahead and label this as junk. Then in the here, set as junk. And when I go to the vendor, now this is going to be automatically sold. But because it has durability, it cannot be automatically sold. So then you set it as useful again. When you don't want to sell it again, when you don't want to sell it automatically, and that's how uh, items that are gray or that are above gray end up in the useful stash. On default, they are just useful. So I showcase this with um, Chris Spider Meat, and now with Earthroot, set as junk. Now it's going to be sold. And if I put it as useful, it's not gonna get sold. 
And that's pretty much all that there is currently to my UI. Obviously there is not much more than that, that is like some minimal thing. For example, like let's see, like what can I show? What have I not shown yet? Um, like for example, how I've set up later, for example, I have not shown. How I've set up like certain things I have not shown. But that is all too much to add in one video, I think. But I, I, you won't get around the fact that you have to figure a lot of this stuff around yourself to also like edit it to your liking, all right? So um, with this, I want to conclude the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this was long, but it is what it is. So see ya in another video. I'm gonna eat some. Good food. See ya. Peace.